What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I just got over here to the shop. We're going to be working on a race car today. I'm making some changes. It's a good thing I got held up last week on the other car. I didn't really think too far into the future about my racing that I got to do in the next couple weeks. We're trying to get ready for this weekend. There's two races happening, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to make the Sunday or not, but the Saturday for sure I'm going to track's gonna be really good so i gotta do some work on this one to get it ready don't forget to go to turbojohnracing.com to grab yourself some merch and comment like and subscribe thanks guys Right, so a couple things we got to do today it should be pretty easy hopefully we got to get the hoosiers off of here i run the hoosiers on the back of the track stuff the stuff that is really very rough is what i have seen we need to put those on but we're going to be racing at thunder valley this weekend so the track's smooth it's actually going to be pretty much radial prep they have done a good job prepping it recently so uh, the series the 28's gone wild they've done a good job so we're going to put our mickey thompson 28 w's on we're going to take this weight off the back here we got 50 pounds in the back. We'll leave that, and we're going to take the weight off of the, the back of the rear end as well. So we may end up having to adjust ride heights a little bit since we'll be taking that weight off. But one of the biggest things we got to do is we've got to change front struts. So the front struts that are on this one now are just 10 ways, and I needed something really loose for the back of the track to fling it up is what I was trying to do, and it worked. They come up really rapidly. The Pro Mod Valve Strange ones that I had, they were just a little slow coming up something else i just thought about my fuel pump that doubles as my water pump has been giving me some issues so i need to get another pump on there i need to actually get a water pump instead of a fuel pump what y'all think water pump instead of a fuel pump yeah it might be better so but the biggest thing we're going to change the struts real fast i did not get done with my car over there i did not get the struts on it uh the other day i was pretty mad i was pretty upset but it kind of worked out in my favor so I'm going to take my Pro Mod valve struts and I'm going to put on here. So these are just going to come off for the time being. I'll show you all what I did when I pulled these things off on how I got a little bit more travel out of here. And you see that looks like a funny front strut. And it is. It's a little different. But I'll show you what I did. I made those spacers. I showed you all the spacers last year when I actually got them on there. And they, they tend to work. I mean, they give it a lot more travel. And the way it's working is, is pretty good right now. I could get a little bit more travel. I still had to put the limiters on it to make it so that it would not bind the lower ball joints but uh other than that i mean you know it was working so the new car over there we're going to when we get that one done i don't know if these are going to go back on it or with it being lighter weight the with a softer spring on the front of the other one it may be fine with the, the strange the pro mod ones so we may have to come up with something else to get a little bit more travel if i need it but i don't know there's a lot of cars out there that don't do like kindles and have 18 inches of front travel so maybe we can do it with less travel So this is how much travel it has if I don't have the limiters on it with these extensions I put up there. I can't really, it's hard to see them. But I'll show it to you when I, when I get it off. It's just an extender that I made that basically makes the whole, it makes it actually really easy to get the strut assembly in because it all bolts together. And then it uh, goes, just goes in really simple, really easy. Thank you. 
All right, guys, well, we got this one off, and you can see this is what I made. It's pretty simple, but it worked. I mean, the good thing about this setup now is it just is easy to get off. I mean, you don't have to compress it in the car. It compresses right here. You compress the spring and then put your top on it. And basically what I did is I took a th uh, nut here, welded it to a bar, and then welded the uh, stud up through the top. So, I mean, it's very simple. Gave a lot more travel. Those are 16100 uh, springs on this one. And so they compress pretty good. Got a lot of travel, more than I could utilize. What was happening is down here on the ball joint, the ball joint actually would bind up. And so I put high travel. At first I thought it was uh, the, the tie rod in, but I put a high travel articulation or whatever that thing's called to give it more travel. But it ended up being the actual ball joint. The ball joint gets at such a bad angle that it makes it where you can't hardly turn the steering wheel. So that's pretty unsafe. So what we're doing, we're gonna put our regular other ones back on. I'm gonna put the 1495 springs on it. And you know, I don't need quite as much travel where I'm gonna be going the next couple weeks. I may go to the No Prep Kings in Ohio. I haven't decided for sure on that yet, but it's gonna be on the track side where there's rubber. So it doesn't, there again, it doesn't need to have, you know, 20 inches of travel in the front. So uh, it's a whole different setup, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna go to Ohio yet or not. It just depends. I don't know if I can run with them boys or not, but it's, it's gonna be one of those things. It's 500 miles each way. So we may or may not, but here we go. Let's keep on going. So this is just going to show you the difference between the non-spacer and the spacer side. So we had six inches between the top of the wheel and the fender lip on the other side. And on this side, we had nine inches. It's crazy. All right, so she's back on the ground with the other springs and these things. Man, those 14s, they really compress a lot. You can see they got a lot of compression on them. But that's, you know, that's what we're trying to do is store the energy. We use the shock to, to control it. These things, I usually run them, they've got three rounds. These are the, the radial valve for them strange. So I've got three rounds of adjustment here. So really that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six times three is 18 clicks if you were doing it by clicks but it doesn't have clicks so you just i notched my my little thing here so i know which way it is and i just count but usually a turn and a half this thing is pretty much tied down and you can crutch it if you have a real heavy spring if the if the shock can't really control it you can put a heavier spring on it and then the heavier spring will make it so that the shock doesn't have to do quite as much work because it doesn't have as much stored energy it's got the same amount of stored energy but it's in a smaller shorter space the spring doesn't compress as much it's kind of kind of odd but that does work so the more the spring compresses that energy will deliver it over a longer period and so that's why you know sometimes like with a, a radial setup you'll use a heavier spring so the shock can really you know control it very very easily and it doesn't have a lot of fling all right, so now front end's done. So that's how we got a bunch of extension. So if y'all want to do that, do it at your own risk. It's kind of sketchy the way I done it, but it worked. Didn't have any issues out of it. Of course, I did not street drive it any. It was just at the track. So now we're gonna take the Hoosiers off of it real fast. And I am gonna have to, when I pop, pop the W's on it, I'm gonna put the W's on it for this weekend because you can do it. And this car is not mini tubbed and that's a, a six inch backspace wheel with a 10 inch wide actually it's 10 and a quarter six inch back space and we can use a small i think it's five sixteenths spacer behind the wheel and it brings it out a little bit and it kind of tears milton's arm up if he's back here trying to make sure the car is doing a straight burnout but a w will fit so let's do that real fast all right guys well we are done 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 i did not show you all the time lapse of me changing tires because well it's just me changing tires and it's often kind of boring, <laughs> so I didn't show that today, but we did get the W's on it. You can see they, they stick out just a tad, but under the car, they, I mean, they're close, but they, 
they don't rub. What they gotta do when I get to the track, we'll take the weight off the back, like I was talking about, we'll take the weight off the rear end. Of course, the tail of the car is gonna come up some, and so when it comes up, then we're gonna have to reset the ride height in the back. So now this thing does still have a little bit of positive, over 100% anti-squat. Looks like we may need to do the bump steer as well. Looks like that tire in the front is mostly straight. And the one over here is kind of kicked out a little bit to the left. So I'll probably have to play with bump steer a little bit. Anytime you change ride height, sometimes you gotta do that, change struts. So it is what it is. So we'll be doing that as well. Brian's over there working on his, he, he broke a planetary in his. So John and Brian just got the transmission back in his. So he'll be ready, he'll be out at uh, Thunder Valley this weekend as well. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm sure we're gonna draw each other first round like always. But I mean, <laughs> I mean that's, all, that's what we do, right? It doesn't matter if he picks first and I pick last or if we pick side by side. <laughs> that's the only way we're not racing each other first round. And luckily it's luckily it's free entry so <laughs> i mean if i if i if i pull them first round it's okay um can i tell them what your 60 foot was at the last race so i wasn't there we were at darlington but they had a race at thunder valley uh while we were at darlington and he turned it up a little bit and got a little bit of wheelie action and it went a 102 60 foot and that was with the front wheels in there it clicked it with the body and uh so that was probably a 101 100 if the front tires would have stayed down uh, but he it, it quickly destroyed he's got 169 planetaries and he had chipped them last year and he forgot about it and then they started making a lot of noise so he's just getting that fixed so we're ready to go so thunder valley this weekend 28 is going wild i don't know what time the schedule is i imagine we'll start running at dark it was blazing hot today so it's going to be it's going to be a fun time all right guys comment like and subscribe we'll see y'all soon later